Hello YouTube, um, I just upgraded to Windows 7 a couple of days ago and I just want to share my Windows 7 experience with you guys. Now I'm a PC, I'm a Windows XP guy. Um, uh, Windows XP pretty much has been the only system I've really learned in depth in. This is a big upgrade for me. I've never used Vista or anything so I would like to show you a couple of cool things that I discovered right away uh, with 7. First, um, as you see, I'm running uh, on 4 gigs of RAM, only 3 gigs are usable in 7. Um, there's a cool little system rating thing here. My computer rates a 4.8. Um, the Windows Experience Index is really, really cool. Uh, you can actually uh, score your computer to see how good it is in terms of 3D graphics um, and stuff like that. Uh, other things I discovered that are pretty nice are you can hold the Windows key and use the arrows to move around and shape windows around. It's pretty interesting. Um, another cool thing I learned is maximizing windows by just moving them up to the top, moving them down. Um, yeah, so pretty basic features. Um, if you're an XP person who knows XP really well, then this should be like a walk in the park for you. I kind of miss Windows XP, but I really, really like Windows 7. They made it really easy for me to access my games. Um, they made it very easy for me to kind of access uh, things from Windows um, Start Menu. Uh, it's like a, they have like sub trees now for some icons. It's pretty cool. Uh, like for Outlook, I can immediately make a new email message without having to open Outlook, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, Windows Media Center is great, by the way. I'm pretty much in love with this thing. Um, been watching internet TV all day <laughs> uh, and playing games and stuff like that. Well, not all day, but most of the day. It is great. Uh, with Netflix built in to stream movies, if you have an account, and I mean, it, it's really, really cool stuff. But the internet TV is really what's cool because imagine YouTube, um, except on crack literally because you have so many different channels and uh, uh, different things over here um, another thing I like is the window snipping tool uh, instead of pressing print screen all the time window snipping allows me to just kind of like draw well in this case I'm drawing but I like the box one so let's go back to the snipping tool yes if you didn't know about this already this is just baby stuff but you know I'm still learning and it's really 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 cool um, check it out, I could just draw a box around something and boom it's snipped and I can email this uh, right away directly from uh, the Windows Snipping Tool viewer really really nice um, another really cool feature are the notes sticky notes uh, you can leave these cool little stickies and just type whatever you want very very nice stuff um, another really cool thing is Windows XP mode um, you can actually open a virtual uh, PC and load uh, Windows XP in virtual PC mode, virtual XP mode on Windows 7. So if you have a program that only runs on XP, you can make it run on 7. Um, this thing weighs about a gig <clears throat> and it's worth having, um, especially if you are a Windows XP person and you like to see it once in a while. My laptop has XP but I'm thinking about upgrading it also. Um, the really, really like new features besides the cosmetic stuff would be in the control panel. I'm guessing a lot of this uh, looks a lot like Vista, but again, I never had Vista. Very cool thing you have is the Action Center. Uh, it tells you, you know, when you need to update your PC or uh, whether virus uh, scanning is on, whether the firewall is on. Um, really, really cool stuff. Uh, what else do we have here that I found intriguing? Uh, Windows Update, card space, firewall, all basic stuff. Um, this is just, I never really got uh, the full hang of using 7 or Vista, I mean, and when I got 7 I was reluctant to use it, but check it out, this is Windows XP inside of Windows 7. Uh, very, 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 very cool. <laughs> you know, who would have thought I have the whole uh, experience of XP inside 7. Um, very nice stuff. I recommend upgrading now that I've used this personally. Um, I'm actually using <coughs> the Windows 7 Professional version and I also have Microsoft Office 2010 installed. Um, 
again very very nice stuff and along with that I have my favorite tools uh, such as Macromedia Dreamweaver 8 the original uh, Dreamweaver that made me what I am today pretty much um, what else is here that I see that I remember that I just recently got I have Photoshop 5 uh, very cool stuff if you don't have Photoshop you definitely want to get it because the Windows Paint oh another thing that was modified yeah that's another thing I wanted to show you guys Paint and Word got a whole makeover they now have the ribbon tab which I think Microsoft is trying to push on everything that ribbon look um, but it is very 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 well thought out I like it very 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 much you should see WordPad it looks crazy also um, Windows search is totally different now uh, another thing I have to get used to um, check it out this is your regular WordPad look it has a ribbon just like the one in office very 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 cool um, connect to a projector getting started menu uh, I think this is really it pretty much um, for Windows 7 oh and everything now is open in these cool little tabs I just put the mouse over them and they open up I find that very very fun to use too oh and this is a uh, CS5 Photoshop um, you know I want to test the content aware tool real here real quick while I'm at this video let's see I'm going to snip snip the Windows XP logo and I'm going to copy it I'm going to paste it in Photoshop and this is the famous feature in Photoshop that everybody's talking about um, the content aware fill let's try this out I'm going to highlight the red portion of the Windows logo very very sloppy but it'll have to do and I'm gonna go to my my edit my fill and my content aware tool and this is the most beautiful thing in Photoshop now well relatively because the colors in this image <laughs> I just made a clone of the bottom piece but if you've seen the content aware tool it's really really nice it allows you to perfectly crop out certain things uh, in Windows so what's really new here aside from those features nothing it's just a big cosmetic change just requires a memory upgrade um, my 2.5 gigs of RAM didn't do good at all uh, I had to upgrade to 4 to really get this computer looking good uh, and that's it and that's my Windows 7 first time experience I already got a couple of games on here and all my web design tools and stuff like that I just gotta get Visual Studio up um, but yeah everything is different uh, I got a whole major cosmetic um, redo over here uh, these all the devices I have connected I don't know if Vista had this but XP does and it's really really nice they made it really user friendly um, so yeah that's pretty much it this is my first 7 experience and so far it is great look I even added the address bar to my uh, start bar so I could just type in address uh, I get intrigued by these kind of things because they're new I even enab enabled the um, run button to have the old fashioned run command um, console here so uh, I definitely recommend people to upgrade to Windows 7 it has been uh, a lot of fun using this and I'm interested in learning to develop for this now so that's the next big challenge but uh, Microsoft didn't screw up this time they actually did a good job